grew up in Miami Beach. I was born here in Mount Sinai Medical Center. I went to Rabbi Alexander S. Gross Hebrew Academy, went to medical school, started practicing with my father, Larry Cement, a renowned pulmonologist here with Dr. Robert Galbit. I specifically do like pulmonary and critical care because you have to deal with the patient as a whole and not just look at one organ system. In the very beginning of COVID, I had learned about the Wuhan outbreak and I became a little bit obsessed with it. I was also the president of the medical staff at that time and before Zoom was popularized, I arranged a Zoom meeting with Xion Peng, who is the critical care chief in Wuhan. It really enlightened us to the mystery behind COVID so that when it did hit us, we weren't as surprised by the complexities, but it was still surprising. The beginning of the pandemic probably had 50 to 100 calls a day at least. There were no days off. There was a lot of adrenaline because really you felt like your life was in the balance too. So it was more of a new reality. We have unbelievable stories that were published in the Miami Herald here about our hospital saving lives. And these cases, I've never seen so many miracles in the last two years. At the beginning of COVID, I was taking a shower in the middle of the night, having a hard time breathing. I fell in the shower and I broke two ribs. They took me to Mount Sinai. Dr. Cement was my entire care. He ran everything. I had pneumonia, I had a stroke. When I had a collapsed lung, he happened to be walking through the hospital at two o'clock in the morning, saw me not breathing. The nurse thought I needed more drugs. Dr. Cement jumped in, basically stabbed me in the, in the chest right here and happened to insert the tube exactly where it needed to be and my lung reinflated. Each step of the way, miracles happened to keep me alive. And my malach was Dr. Smint. Day, night, Pesach, didn't make a difference. He was my doctor. It's emotional. It's not only the people that walked out of the hospital that we're proud about. We gave it our best effort for every patient. Tzala, it's the same concept of, of the COVID, where you don't have time to, to react. You have to react instinctively and help your first uh, reaction as fast as you can. I believe Ellie's uh, talks about 90 seconds to respond. And that is the same concept that we are dealing with in a pandemic. What I find so impressive with United Hatzalah or Ichud Hatzalah is that they really focus on training community members how to deal with mishaps or injuries or, or sicknesses. And these people could respond fast, quick, and be efficient, but also caring. You know, I was getting maybe 100 calls a day at the peak of the pandemic, and they are helping out 1,800 people a day. is such an unbelievable chesed. There is no charity better than helping out a charity besides your own community, also your Eretz Yisrael. Uh, helping out Israel is your way to help out the whole Jewish community. It is very meaningful for me to be honored by Yichud HaTzalah, United HaTzalah, because I see the great things that they have done and continue to do. And that's the type of work that I would always support.